What is up guys? We are back here with another BIOS video. And today we're gonna be checking out the BIOS here on the ASRock Z590 PG Velocita motherboard. As I always say, this BIOS should be pretty much the same across all of ASRock's Z590 motherboards. Obviously the skin and some of the settings might be different depending on the BIOS that you have. But this is just gonna be, you know, like a quick little rundown of the settings and maybe we'll do some some quick overclocking and things like that now if you want to know how to get into this bios when you turn on your system just keep on hitting that delete button on your keyboard and you'll be loaded right here into the bios now when you get loaded in the bios you'll be here on the easy mode this basically gives you all of the settings that you might want to change when you first boot up your system kind of in a nice little graphical interface so here um, we can see our processor that we're running, the speed and our total memory. Moving down, we have our DRAM information that shows the memory that we have installed. And if you wanna enable your XMP profile, which again is something you wanna do on your first boot, you just simply click this. So if, you, if I click it, it's on auto. If I click it again, it's on our first profile and it will list your profile right there. Down here, we have storage configuration. You can see all of the SATA drives and M.2 drives or M.2 slots in or on your board. And you can see what you have installed. So in our SATA, we have a Samsung 870 Evo. And then our M.2 slot, we have a Samsung uh, 980 Pro. Um, you can enable or disable RAID mode just by hitting it uh, right here. Over here, we have a live view of our temperature. Um, our motherboard temperature, CPU temperature, motherboard temperature, and CPU voltage right here. We have our time and our date. Fan status, so we can see the fans that are connected to the motherboard and the speeds that they are running. Um, fan setting, um, this is just for CPU fan one, so it's set to standard by default. You can go to like high performance or full speed and do all of that. Under tools, we have instant flash, which will allow you to easily flash your BIOS from a USB flash drive. Internet flash allows you to do, same, to do the same thing, except for you'll be doing it from the internet. And then fantastic tuning is full tuning for all of your fans. So all of the fan headers that are on the board, you can set up a curve, you can set the fans to silent standard performance full speed, you can do all that kind of stuff. You can do it right here in this nice little interface. You can hit escape or you can just hit the X right here to get out of this menu. There we go. And then finally, we have boot priority. So again, if you had multiple um, multiple drives in here, you can drag and drop. See these three little uh, lines here? If I had multiple bootable drives, I could easily just drag and drop to select the boot priority, which again is very, very easy. Now that is basically it for the easy mode. Now, if you want to do some more tuning or want to get more into you know your settings, you go to advanced mode. You can click right here or just hit F6 on your keyboard. And now we'll be dropped into the advanced mode. Here we have our main menu, um, which again, just gives you information on what you're running. You do have a my favorites, which we don't have anything in there, but any of the settings that are in the BIOS, you can add to your my favorites menu. So they're just easier to find. You don't have to click through a few menus. You can easily add them to your my favorites menu. Now under OC Tweaker, this is where you're going to go ahead and tune your CPU, your voltages, and your memory. It is nice that you have your targets set here. So if you change any settings, these targets will change to let you know what you're really gonna be shooting for as far as frequencies and speed, things like that. Um, they have everything divided into three, I guess, folders. Um, so you have CPU configuration first. We'll go into that. We can set our CPU ratio. Um, all of our different ratios are BCLK frequency. All of that stuff is right here. All of the Intel specific um, technologies and settings are all done right here. So you can change all of this stuff, your power limits, everything to do with the CPU is right here. So if you wanna do any overclocking, this is where you would do it. I would assume we would just switch this CPU ratio. Say we want an all core overclock, we hit all core and then set our all core in this case we've already overclocked so our, our all core overclock would be 51. now when we do that we hit escape now we can see our target right here 
is set to 51. So again, when you change these, it will let you know you know what the target that you're going for which i like because sometimes you're changing a bunch of settings like oh what did i set the frequency to you can kind of see it right up there so we'll go ahead and switch this back um you can do it per core as well um you know you can set your turbo ratio limits for each specific core but uh the easiest way to do it if you want an all core overclock it just select all core and then you're good to go everything of course is set by auto uh by default DRAM configuration, again, this is all of the information or all the settings for your memory. If you actually click into memory information, this will give you all of the, you know, all the information on your currently installed memory. Um, and then before we go into, or we can go down to timings and things like that. First, we have XMP. So again, if you didn't enable your XMP in the easy mode, you just click here. By default, it would probably be, be set on auto. You just hit your XMP profile. Boom, there you go. Um, your reference clocks, your frequencies, you know, you can change this if you want. If you wanted to overclock past your XMP profile, you can do it right here. Um, you know, all of your timings, you have your primary timings, which again, you can change. If you want to tighten your timings, all of your timings, everything is all right here. So everything to do with memory is in this menu and you have quite a lot of settings that you can go ahead and change. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. And one thing I like is that ASRock, all of their voltage stuff in its own folder. You don't have CPU specific voltage in the CPU configuration or DRAM specific voltage in the DRAM. It's all in here. So you have your voltage mode, which you can do to stable or OC. If you're doing OC, uh, you probably should switch it to OC if you're doing some hardcore overclocking. But again, you have your CPU core and cache uh, voltages, your load line calibrations. And again, over here, they give you an idea of, you know, what level, what type of load line calibration you're gonna have depending on the levels. Um, again, DRAM voltage. So if you are overclocking memory, it's right there. All of your voltages, everything is right here. So you have all of that. And that is pretty much all of the main tuning things or overclocking things. It's all gonna be right here. You also have up to 10 profiles that you can save. Um, so if you had a gaming profile, overclocking profile, or like an LN2 profile, you could save and load them easily right on the screen as well. In advanced, first thing is CPU configuration. Um, this is all of the specific, again, um, different, you know, like hyper-threading, active processor core, C states, all that kind of stuff. You can enable or disable very easily. You can go ahead and do that. Chipset configuration. Um, you know, if you actually are going to use the onboard graphics on your CPU, you can set it here. Um, your link speeds, everything to do with the chipset really is right here. Um, you know, you can enable or disable the Ethernet and the wireless stuff right here. HD audio, Bluetooth, everything like that you can enable or disable right here. Um, one thing that you might want to turn on or off is the RGB LED. So by default, they're turned on and they will remain on when your system is powered off. So you might wanna turn this to off if you don't want that to happen. Um, but that stuff is right here as well. We'll go out of there. Storage configuration, again, everything to do with storage. Um, enable or disable your SATA controllers. You can see everything that is connected. We can actually go into our drive and you know set different things and see the information for our SATA drive. Same thing with M.2. We can see all of the information for our M.2 drive as well. Um, getting out of there, NVMe configuration, it just will show you what we have installed. And you can see we have our Samsung drive there. Thunderbolt, um, we don't have a Thunderbolt card, but if we did, it would show up here. ACPI, all that kind of stuff. USB configuration, same thing. You can enable or disable every USB port that is on the uh, board itself and all of that. Um, you can actually see what you have connected as well. Trusted computing, we don't have a TPM device installed, but if we did, we could you know, configure it right here. And that is it for advanced. We'll go over to tools, oops, tools. Um, so you can fully set up your RGB lighting within the BIOS itself. So if you wanna, don't wanna install their Polychrome Sync software, you can set everything up right here. Pretty easy to do as well. Um, you can actually, if you have the internet set up in the BIOS, 
you can actually like re like send an email to request text service, which is pretty cool. Um, Easy RAID installer will help you get RAID set up. SSD secure erase tool. This is great if you're getting rid of an SSD, you're selling an SSD, or you're selling your system, you wanna secure erase your SSD, so you can do that. Same thing with your NVMe drives. Again, instant flash. Um, you can flash all of that stuff, and this is to set up your network configuration so you can do the internet flash. Hardware monitor gives us a real-time view of all of your temperatures, fan speeds, and voltages. So if something's going on, you're like, you know, is that, do I have the right voltage? Or do I have, you know, why is my CPU super hot? Um, you can see all that in real time. And then also, as we go down, you can run, you can do fan tuning and fantastic tuning. You can do all that stuff and set up all of your settings for all of the fans as well. So all of that is right in here under the hardware monitor. Um, going over to security, you can set a supervisor password or a user password um, and set up secure boot. Under boot, you can just set up your boot uh, options, fast boot, boot from LAN, all the stuff that has to do with boot, you can set up there. And then finally, under exit, we have save changes, discard changes, all of that. We also have what I always talk about is boot override. Good to see it here. Basically, that just allows you to boot into the BIOS and then boot from one device once. And then when you restart, it will do your normal boot priorities. That's really great if you're installing Windows from a flash drive. So that is basically it for this BIOS. Um, let's go back at F6 to go back into easy mode. Again, you can just toggle between the two uh, very easily. BIOS is, like I said, has all the settings that we want. Everything is very organized. Even in advanced mode, it's not really hard to find any of the settings. The easy mode works great as well, especially for beginners. It's not sluggish. I can move my mouse around. It's not laggy or anything like that. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.